Good morning, I'm Ken Cooper with Midwest Family here in La Crosse. Uh, thank you for being a part of the Children's Miracle Network Radiothon. We are excited to be here at Gunderson Health System, uh, meeting so many amazing families, so many amazing people, and learning so much about what one organization can do with the help of all of us. And that's where you come in. You can make a donation right now, 608-784-KIDS. That's 608-784-5437. Uh, you can also go online at aroundrivercity.com. You can make a donation there. Uh, you can text in a donation to CM, text the word CMN Kids with no space. That's CMN Kids to the number 51555. That's 51555. Text the word CMN Kids. Um, as of right now, I'm not promising to do any tricks like Brian Simpson did or sing unless somebody really wants something like that. I juggle a little bit. Uh, I'd be happy to do some of that for you if that helps get us a donation or two or three. But we would love your help on this final day of the CMN Radiothon. Right now, I want to talk with uh, Matt Tepper, who is a gentleman who started an organization called Cooley Connections. Good morning, Matt. Right. Thanks Good for being morning. here. Thank you. And I guess the first thing that I want to do is I want to read a little bit from the description that I got about your organization because to me it just that it really got to the heart of what it is you do. I think and, and it's it it goes against I think some of what we tend to want to think about ourselves. But what it says here is the road to restoring and building resiliency is not made of independence or rugged self reliance. It's born from a willingness for those in need to find partnership with an inspired, responsive, compassionate caregiver. And I, I guess that comes down to the idea that it, there's strength in asking for help. Yeah, yeah, that, that and it takes a village, right? right? So the, the realities of uh, the difficulties that any families face, right? There's, there's a feeling of loneliness that's out there as you're moving through all sorts of different challenges as you're learning about things that your kids might be facing and, and what's going on out there. So uh, Cooley Connections was really born out of this idea for uh, creating uh, hope through inspired living, f uh, creating situations and, and opportunities for, for families to uh, come together collectively under one roof and, and, and find Find help and support in different ways. How did you do that? <laughs> That's, it's a beautiful theme and it's wonderful and it, it makes so much sense now that you've been doing it for a while, but how did you get to that point in the beginning? Yeah, it, it, it was tough. Uh, you know, we, uh, for myself uh, and, our, and our executive director, we started in, in residential setting, working with uh, kiddos who were being placed outside of their homes. Uh, and we wanted something better for this community. We wanted to be able to help work with families to keep their kids working within, within this community, staying here, getting the support that they needed here. Uh, and that was born out of, we started with an alternative education program uh, but along with that we we built this summer program uh, that that created uh, a bridge from uh, the end of the school year to the start of the school year for for families uh, similar to the one that, that we've got here with us today uh, but uh, we, we wanted to create that bridge of, of opportunity and hope uh, and uh, it, it was really kind of born and and the communication we have with the, with the families that we work with is it's not just enough to to manage your diagnosis or just have to deal with it right we, we want you to have opportunities to uh, enjoy and, and, and find joy in, in life as you're managing some difficult situations. Yeah. Have you found that the ways that people are asking for help and the, and the, the help that's needed continues to evolve? Or is that just absolutely. always changing? Yeah, oh, absolutely. We, we've got to be able to adjust with it. And, and so our programming, we really want it to be experiential. Uh, what we offer up for, for, for kiddos uh, starts with, uh, you know, help, helping them have fun, right? We, we start with this, this mantra of PMA, positive mental attitude. Every day they're coming in, singing, having you know, different creative ways to have some fun. Uh, and, and we work with uh, six-year-olds all the way up through high schoolers, and we have to find creative ways to do that. So uh, we get them out in the world. Uh, we've got a, a 23 and a half acre hobby farm, right, where kids get to go to and experience animals and low ropes elements and, and creeks and, you know, get to experience the outdoors. We take our high schoolers on week-long backpacking trips out to the boundary waters and, and get them to experience different wow. things that way. Wow. I think a lot of us out of high school could use some PMA, <laughs> yeah. some, some help in that yeah. area. So uh, sitting right next to you is Carly Kemp. Uh, and Carly Kemp is one of those amazing people. She is a mom. I think we should just make some noise for moms, all moms. Yes, absolutely. I love mom. Uh, and you've got a son, Easton. He's nine years old. Um, tell us a little bit about Easton. 
Um, Easton um, has autism spectrum disorder. He is very high functioning, so you don't know that by looking at him. Uh, when he was, ever since he was born, he nonstop cried. <laughs> so that's uh, when we first came to the doctors at Gunderson. It was like every every couple of weeks, every month, we were in, we were seeing different specialists. We're like, no baby cries this much. And so then after, you know, the different specialists, we at like 18 months realized he was kind of not so talkative. And so then we um, went to the arena clinic here and he got diagnosed with autism. And then, um, he has been doing any therapy we can think of since hmm. the diagnosis, which is, which was rough because they literally give you a page, uh, like a pamphlet, and they're like, you know, good luck. Which, I, you know, it's not like their fault, but it's just right. too bad that right. it's so. Well, you're in a overwhelming. It, it's got to be a traumatic diagnosis for the whole family. Oh yeah, and you're like, well wait, he looks at me, he gives me eye contact, no, like I didn't expect that at all, you know, so it was, it's, it's definitely not what I thought, but it was good to kind of have some kind of answer, but then I'm like, that's still, why does he like seem never happy, you know, and then they explained how it could be sensory issues with lights or, you know, like there's so many things that can bother them that, you know, especially with him not talking that much that we probably didn't know about. Well, that's got to be one of the, I guess, the frustrating things of a diagnosis like that is there are, it's it's almost vague in, in its, in, oh, in yeah, how it affects like, a person and how it's defined. And it's just so, it's it's hard to grasp onto one thing. Right. Every, every single person is different that has it. So you can't really put it in one that's why it's the spectrum disorder right because right. there's each person has different areas that they struggle with well and uh spoiler alert she got together with children's miracle network and the folks at cooley connections and we're going to hear that story after i remind you that you can make a donation right now by calling 784 kids at 784-5437 you can also make a donation online at aroundrivercity.com you'll get a link there and if you'd like to text you can text the word cmn kids that's all one word no space cmn kids to the number 50 51 555 i've been trying to figure out what's the best way to say that number i think it's 515 55 is the best way to say it cmn kids to 515 55 we would love to have the uh the people here in the miracle room manning the the telephones uh, be in action. And by the way, got to say thanks to the folks at uh, Remax Results. Thank you all for being here and manning the phones today. And thanks to the folks at uh, Stanek Electric and Mark Jewelers for making all of this possible. And back to our story about Easton and uh, his mom, Carly, and the family. Tell us how you came to be involved with Cooley Connections. Did the connection with CMN come first? Well, actually, when he was under a year old, when he was always upset and I was struggling as a single mom, so the we actually had first met CMN by getting respite care for um, someone, you know, so I had a break because it was so hard. So that's our first interaction with him. And then years past 2018, we had some pretty big life changes and then our psychologist that diagnosed him had suggested Cooley Connections for the summer because there was a huge deal with the transition from school the summer. Yeah. So then she suggested Cooley Connections and they've been like the best thing that could have happened to us. And would would that would that connection with Cooley Connections have been possible without uh, the Children's Miracle no. Network here at Gunderson? No, nope. they grant, they had a grant that was able to cover the cost. So I was fingers crossed until I heard the answer. But then when we found out that they did it, and not only once, but two summers now, like, very been cool. very grateful. Well, so Matt, why, why does your organization like to work with the Children's Miracle Network? 
Oh, they've, they've been fantastic. Uh, as we stood, uh, currently stated, we, about two and a half years ago, we got together with some folks. Uh, they heard a little bit about the summer program that, that we were offering. Uh, and, and the Children's Miracle Network saw the, the work that was going on in the summer uh, and said, we need to get some more kids this opportunity. Uh, mental health, as you know, uh, in itself is becoming kind of a, a, a big challenge for services uh, as, as folks are, are recognizing and, and, and understanding the, the challenges that come, not just for the students, but for the families. Uh, and a lot of our summer programming revolves around uh, including the families, right? So mm -hmm. they, they, they thought this would be a perfect fit. Uh, and so we've, we've been very grateful for, for the grant fund dollars uh, for, for our summer program, for uh, folks like, like Carly in and, and, and Easton to be able to be a part of that, but then others. Uh, and, and our programming not only works with kids for six weeks throughout the summer, but we engage the family in, in many different ways. So the, the challenges that she's talking about uh, going through, uh, she doesn't have to feel like she's going through them alone. Absolutely. And I think one of my favorite things about Children's Miracle Network and uh, how it works and how an organization like yours works is that you're a, you're a local organization working with local people and every dollar, every cent that you donate during the Children's Miracle Network Radiothon is going to stay right here. It's going to help great programs like Cooley Connections. It's going to help kids uh, like Easton uh, and it's going to help moms like Carly and it's going to help the community. Um, Thank you both for being here this morning. Um, Matt, keep on doing what you're doing. Um, any, <clears throat> any advice for people uh, out there who are looking to make a difference? Oh, I, I, I just I can't say enough uh, how, how grateful we are for this partnership we've had with the Children's Miracle Network uh, and, and their willingness. Uh, we started out with five kids our first year, uh, and they've increased that. So we had 20 slots this last summer here. Uh, they added an additional five slots at our Menominee location in Wisconsin. Uh, so that's 25 kids, 25 families, nice. 25 teams who've all been able to be uh, affected and have an opportunity for six weeks of intensive programming. Uh, we, we wrap around as much as we possibly can, uh, and we want to create an opportunity for, for inspired living for these kids and families throughout the summer. So uh, really can't say enough to uh, the folks at the Children's Miracle Network for their collaboration with us uh, and how far that's stretched for, for these families to have these opportunities. And, you know, Carly, quick before we go, <clears throat> do you have any advice for moms that may have been in the position you were in those years ago? Um, <laughs> don't give up. <laughs> Because I know it's it's devastating and it's hard, but you eventually get, you know, to find something that helps. You know, like without Cooley Connections being around, we I felt hopeless. So, I you know they finally came in and things started to change a little. So the, the strength is with her too, though, right? Mm -hmm. She's oh, got to be willing. To, she's sure. got to be willing to do the work too. Moms she's, are so right? modest. Moms, Moms need right? to brag I more. Take really. any credit, but she Moms really need to brag done a, a lot of good, lot of good work with us as well. So a lot of credit goes <laughs> to right. her. Well, thank you both for being here. Uh, absolutely true story of how you can make a difference in a person's life. Seven eight four kids. That's seven eight four fifty four thirty seven. You can make a donation online at aroundrivercity.com. Text the word CMN Kids to 51555 and help be a part of this, uh, this village of help for people just like Carly and her son Easton. Uh, at the Children's Miracle Network tel uh, Telethon, Radiothon, uh, I'm Ken Cooper on Midwest Family.